Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Silverman here, your Chief Investment Officer. Um, another session of Come Learn With Me. If you enjoy these sessions, please subscribe and like uh, these, these channels. We uh, try and do a fair bit of research behind some of these articles. So hopefully you're interested and we bring you some interesting ideas. How prop tech startups plan to spend their VC money in 2022? Okay, so you've hauled in 32 billion, now what? PropTech starts into 2022 with a variety of plans to deploy the record 32 billion of venture capital invested in the sector in 2021. With the new hires, expansion to fresh markets and improvement of their technology platforms, <clears throat> top of the list. The plans come as more real estate owners and operators, both older and newer, embrace tech and the data can provide for their properties. Prop tech companies, like many tech companies, spend their funding on strategic hires, marketing, and technology growth, said Ashkan Zandi, chair of the chair at the Center for Real Estate Technology and Innovation. Preeti, these three areas are critical to the success of any prop tech company. Prop tech startups actively begin the hiring process an average of 32 days prior to the public announcement of a funding round, according to research by Preeti which use data compiled from LinkedIn and Glassdoor. Additionally, job postings by prop tech companies have increased by 7% since 2020, with 1,236 postings for remote hybrid jobs in 2021 in the year. Okay. Venture capitalists invested 32 billion in prop tech companies in 2021, a 28% increase in funding over 2020 and a 3.23% increase to 2019, before the pandemic, according to a recent Preeti report. The dramatic increase in VC prop tech funding surpassed the previous all-time high of 31.6 billion. In 2019, one such prop tech startup that saw a bump in VC investment is in 2021 is Manhattan-based Upflex which provides what it describes as an airbnb type flexible workspaces, to Christoph Gonia, the company's co-founder and CEO, Upflex, which was started in late 2017 and raised a four and a half million bridge round in 20, June 21 from EIF Ventures, the Ecosystem Integrity Fund, a San Francisco-based VC, and Newmark Gonia. The funding was on top of 4.1 million Upflex raised previously in angel and seed investments, bringing the company's total to 8.6 million, he said. EIF Ventures invest mostly in mission-driven companies that have a positive impact on the planet, said Garnier. He said it invested in Upflex because it allows people to avoid long commutes by providing a growing network of 5,500 flexible workspaces around the US, cutting down on fossil fuel emissions. Like Airbnb is an asset-like model that doesn't hold leases, decreasing its risk as an investment, Garnia said. We are a technology company, so primarily. Additionally, some of the funds raised in 21 for marketing through channel partners is Upflex's most direct route to market expansion, Garnia said. We're developing a new feature that allows us to multiply distribution, Garnia said. Initially, we've been selling directly to clients, but more and more we've discovered the channel partners such as brokers, at Colliers International, Newmark, JLL, and Seville's have be become champion of our solution. They help us to sell our solution to their own clients, the Fortune 5000, which is our target. We are going off the medium to, to enterprise size clients. Must be a point here that we need to highlight. Let's get that. For Desk Now, a Dortmund, Germany-based prop tech company that provides a digital platform for managing multiple workspaces, 21 saw the 2020 startup raise a 1.2 million seed round, said CEO and co-founder Marius Yarazina. Of course, with funding comes new challenges. Let's just highlight that so we don't get that. In case you're ever in Europe, of course, with funding comes new challenges. It's no achievement other than the pressure is different. Now, it's a uh, Jarzino who raised the funding from being 10x capital GmbH, a Leipzig German based family office, as well as two angel investors. Jarzino said he plans to deploy the funds on short term marketing sales 
This is 85% of our spending plan for the next year and 15% is for further improvements of the product. However, Desk Now must also differentiate how much to spend on marketing versus sales, as the company which already operates in Germany, Spain and the Netherlands looks to expand to New York City and other places in the US in the near future, Jazzing said. What we had to learn is that spending on marketing is much bigger than what we have in our pocket money. He said, basically, are you going to hire people for sales? We're going to hire some people in sales in particular, and the rest is spending on marketing. Hoping to build on the investment momentum, Jarzinia is looking to raise a nice big Series A round in 2022, but emphasize that the next six months are all about driving up our sales. This is now the biggest thing so we can get a really nice Series A funding. Another prop tech company, Montreal-based Local Logic, a data and analytics platform for developers, was chasing the tail end of 2021 funding as of last week. We're in the process of raising our Series B right now, so we've started, but we haven't completed it, said Sarah Maffey, head of the industry, head of industry relations for Local Logic, who added that company executives hope to close the round at the end of the first quarter, we're aiming to raise about 15 million. Doesn't tell you what they do. Okay. okay. The current raise follows local logic series A round of 8 million Canadian, which the company announced in November. That round was led by Groundbreak Ventures, Toronto based VC focus on prop tech with participation from Shadow Ventures, BDC Capital, Jones Boy Ventures, Cycle Capital, and the Jardine Capital. Local logic plans for spending its funding are clear, she said. I think the vast majority of our raise will spend on building new products and expanding into new markets. F he said. And the way we would do that is by hiring more people and acquiring more data sets. About 30% of our hiring would be in sales and marketing, 60% would be in product development and engineering, about 10% will be used to grow our general operations team. Our goal is not only to improve products that we already have, but to continue to expand what we're offering and particularly focus on grow our grow on growing our client pool in the US. Get covered, a Manhattan-based commercial and resident residential real estate digital insurance platform. Okay. Plans to deploy much of the 7 million raised in Series A funding in 21 on people-backed technology, said company CEO Brandon Tobin. Our goal is to grow our sales team for all our distribution partners, said Tobin, whose company already has 20 employees. We've had a lot of traction in the past six months. We're going to double down on that. But most importantly, we're investing a lot into the technology. So we're investing in OCR, optical character recognition and AI recognition, bringing on more partners and tools. So OCR would be kind of reading PDFs, I guess. Although a heavily techno technological startup, Get Covered still needs people to build its proprietary AI and overall digital platform, which will probably mean hiring 10 more people by the end of 2022, five of them starting this month, top into it. Our bucket of what we see the most growth in 2022 is making our technology better and making the implementation process easier, which then gives our salespeople who were hiring the ability to sell faster and have more tools in their tool belt. Yeah, he said, adding that out of the 10 new employees hope to bring in 2022, three or four will be in sales. How are we doing here? Oh, okay, nearly done. Now that 2022 has commenced, Tobin said he sees the PropTech investment pipeline continuing to gush. Gush. Still, he said he's balancing more, chasing more funding rather than focusing on company growth. We've already been approached by a lot of firms about additional funding, just based on all our closed deals that were starting to be implemented. But we're not focused on that right now. We're focused on the execution of business opportunities at hand. But I would assume we would do a Series B at the end of summer or end of year. Okay, interesting. Prop tech, property technology. Very nice. Uh, if you'd like to know more about us uh, and our investment program, take a look at the links below. If you enjoyed this article, please subscribe and like. We endeavor to bring you all interesting different investment ideas to um, take a look at. And if you want to know some of the other investment themes that we focus, take a look at our mini group link below and you'll get a better sense of where we're investing and looking at, uh, at making investments. Thanks for joining me, guys. Come join me again for another session of Learn With Me. This is Greg Silverman, out for now.